Hi, I'm Lawrence Russell here at uh, Asia Tech Singapore. I'm here with Dara Panahi from Millbank. Dara, how are you enjoying the show so far? Terrific so far. I've been here a couple of days in Singapore. Really nice to see everyone back in person and seeing what's going on in Asia and space and telecoms and tech. Absolutely. Got a few questions for you. Uh, where's the sharpest growth in the Asia satellite industry these days? Well, you know, it's a very good question because we keep hearing in the satellite industry about how linear TV video distribution is going, you know, the way of the birds. It's not really uh, the core of the industry. However, the decline in Asia is actually not as fast as the rest of the world. So linear TV is still quite large here. Video distribution is quite significant. But what's really picking up is just simple streaming. TikTok, accessing Instagram, accessing YouTube, those applications are by far the largest that are driving growth. And like the rest of the world, it's transitioning to a broadband distribution model. But here, the applications are much more sort of quasi-linear streaming versus on-demand, over-the-top type applications, which we're seeing pick up in other markets. Fascinating. Uh, so uh, what are people missing or underestimating about the APAC market? I, I think you take a step back. What does satellite do very well? It connects unconnected or underconnected nodes. In the past, again, it was video, it was networks. Now it's broadband. Good examples are the Indonesian Satria project or all of these sort of PPPs where governments are realizing fiber is not going to get there in time. Millimeter microwave wireless is not going to get there in time. And what's interesting in Asia is the ge geography, the island chains, the ar archipelagos. Satellite is by far the best, most effective, cheapest solution. And you layer that over the massive amount of unconnected people. Um, Asia still remains one of the largest growth markets for wireless and satellite, and I think that's what's commonly missed by most. Terrific. Uh, are you seeing any industry moves or tech innovations that are likely to disrupt? Yes. So we've been talking about flat antenna technology. It's finally on the cusp of coming, which will lower the cost of the end-to-end -end, uh, you know, bandwidth connections. Multi-orbit satellite systems, SES is doing it, others with, and I think by far is the final advent and launch of these big LEO systems. OneWeb, Starlink, you combine lower cost LEO satellites, lower cost antennas, better software defined systems, software as a service, the cost to the consumer of getting high speed broadband has come down now by a factor of four or five and it'll probably be a factor of 10 before, before you know it. So to me, that, that's the biggest game changer in, in terms of technology, uh, which, is a, which results in something that's very tangible to the end user and consumer. Terrific, Dara Panayi, thank you very much for joining us today. It's a pleasure, thanks very much.